like 20 minutes. Right. Okay. So, all right. Second Timothy chapter one, verse eight. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, call Halal Lai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai, all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. I want to give much love, prayers, blessings, and salutations to all the whole four elect that's around the world, in the four corners of this world, teaching this truth in sincerity. Shalom. All right, this lesson is going to be around the entitlement of ashamed. Ashamed. All right, as I read 2 Timothy, the first chapter, and the eighth verse, it says, Be not thou therefore ashamed. Of the testimony of our Lord all right now this conversation was uh, inspired off of a conversation as always okay and um you know the topic of the word of shame came up you know most let me say this the two-thirds that the Lord have numbered to the sword they are ashamed of the Lord they was ashamed of Yahweh Shai when he came the first time all right, they hated his teachings. They hated the fact that he did miracles and they hated that he called himself the son of the most high. All right, so two thirds of our people are ashamed of the Lord. And most Jakes, they are ashamed of us today as the prophets, the men coming back, speaking the gospel in which the Lord spec. They are ashamed of the way we speak, how we speak, the, the, the choices of words that we choose to use The spirit that we come in They are ashamed that the garments The clothes that we wear The garments we wear You know They are ashamed That we reprove and rebuke our people And we point the finger You know they're ashamed They don't like the fact of That we're not out there Pushing black power And uplifting the black woman You know calling her a queen They don't like the fact that you know, where, where, you know, in their eyes, confrontational, you know, because there's always some type of confrontation because demons come up, they get reproved, reproved, they get rebuked. And all Jake can see is, uh, is, uh, the, in, the all they can see is the clashing, but they're not getting the message out of the clash. All right. Now we're defenders of the gospel. All right. Because one thing that the Lord did, he set up the prophets, okay, to say to say the things that the Lord is going to do, which prophet means to say before, all right? And the prophets, they go out and speak the word of the Lord, and they warn it, they warn Israel, they warn uh, the Lord's people, you know, either you repent or the Lord is going to put you to death, all right? So they are ashamed of the Lord, you know, and you know what, and you know what that means? That means that you're a wicked man. You're a wicked person. All right? Because in this God-forsaken world, in this God-forsaken society, okay, you are ashamed of the Lord when you have homosexuals, transsexuals, all this bad behavior is accepted today. All of this bad behavior is accepted today. All right? And not being judged in righteousness through them. And you turn around and be ashamed of the Lord that comes in, in righteousness and holiness. That is that is truly a wicked spirit. That is a wicked man, a wicked woman. Alright. So before I even read some scriptures, which I want to try to make this a little quick. I'm gonna try to be to the point. This is the definition of a shame. In 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Alright. G1870. G1870. And the Greek word is. Strong's G1870. Alright. It says to be ashamed. Alright. 
Now, Strong's definition, it says to feel shame for something, be ashamed. So you feel shame because, you know, Jake liked to, you know, live life according to how Esau told him how they should live. You know, suit and tie, uh, uh, be more uh, what they call, that's what they call professional. You know, you know, I have, you know, people in my family have told me, you know, I should be in the church speaking, not outside. Outside is, you know, not good, but, you know, inside with a suit and tie would be better. Because why? They are ashamed of the Lord and his ways. They are ashamed of their own inheritance. All right. The men of the Lord has always, okay, the prophets has always taught outside on the street. They have always went to Israel and warned them, reproved them, rebuked them, okay, with all long suffering, man, all right, until the day that the Lord rose up on them, all right, and this is the same reason why we are in this captivity under these Edomites today, because Jake, majority of Israel is ashamed of the Lord, but it's okay, because the Lord have kept that remnant, all right, he kept that number, he kept that elect, you know, which is going to reset Israel. And make us right and make us perfect, man. You know, so for all you two thirds, being ashamed of the Lord, you're gonna have to die on this side. The scriptures say he must know it after death by pain. So it says to feel shame for something. So you're feeling shamed on how we represent the Lord. You're feeling shamed on how, you know, hey, some of these jeeks, you know, like some of these guys, they feel ashamed because they don't like how we're where uh where uh, uh 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 damn just had the word they don't like the fact that you know they think that we're 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 uh demonizing black people you know but hey you got some israelites you got israelite camps out there or what i should should i say a camp you know you got israelite groups that will only hold the holy days and that actually don't believe that the men of the lord should be out there teaching on the street condemning the uh the heathens man you know, because they are ashamed. You got Israelites that won't call on his name, his true name, because they are ashamed. You know, they're, 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 they'll tell you, you know, because, you know, they got a hate for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, and that pride kick in, you know, and they can't confess. Like even the Mark of the Beast, all right, which is the RFID microchip, you got men that just will not you know, like really research it, get into it for themselves and be uh, uh, well convinced in their own mind to, to see. Because why? They, you know, they have a, a pride thing, but really it's because you are ashamed of the Lord. All right. Just as it is written, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai said, it's not me they hate if they hate if the one that sent me, where it goes the same as for his messengers. It's not us who you truly hate. It's who is really the heavenly father and his son who you really hate because we're just messengers man all right so it says to feel shame for something be ashamed all right so let's get a quick precept this is mark chapter 8 verse 38 whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels all right so Yahweh Shai you know, I believe this is written in red, all right, in the red letter, all right, in Yahweh Shai words, you know, he said, whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me, you know, you're ashamed of the Lord, we, here it is, we're uh, breaking down the lies in which these Edomites put upon us, okay, since they came into power, you know, even, you know, I would say before the Renaissance, but when they put, you know, this image up, which really goes back to Serapis Christus, okay, Cesare Borgia, Okay, of the Borgia family, you know, they put this this uh, picture up, this character of who the world calls e uh, Jesus Christ. All right. And um, that is blasphemy, man. Okay, that is not how the scriptures say he looked. That is not, you know, uh, uh, his appearance. Okay, and how he looked, you know. And when you go back to the Renaissance, what did they do? They, they whitewashed our pictures. They whitewashed and, you know, took over our records and 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 put their images up all right rebirth so it says 
Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. So even Yahweh Shai called this place uh, adulterous and a sinful generation. And boy, oh boy, today is the most adulterous and sinful generation ever alive. Alive. All right. Anything goes here. The sexual uh, uh, pleasures is out of this world, man. It's so wicked. You got to, man, you got to make sure if you got kids, you know, you got that parent control over the phone, man. You know, it's so much evilness, especially around the spirit of sex, which is a demon today. All right. Which is really a demon. You know, it's adulterous. It's an adulterous spirit that's, that's being promoted, man. You know, and it's not being checked by these devils because they promote it. They promote and practice in their customs, okay, homosexuality. And now homosexuality is upon you jakes, man. That's why the Lord said that this place is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt, okay? Because it's Egypt, the bondage in which Israel is in bondage again, and Sodom, all right, for all of the wicked, adulterous, uh, perverted you know, sex that goes on in this place. All right. It says of him also shall the son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. So when Yahweh Shai get back, he's going to be ashamed of you for you being ashamed of him. Here it is, your Lord coming back and you don't know that you're an Israelite. You don't know what tribe you come from. Here it is. The Lord is coming back and you don't know his name. You don't know the father name. He's going to be ashamed of you. All right. Let me get another one. This is Romans 1 and 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Hamashiach. And you, you better be, you better believe that. We're not ashamed. You know, the scriptures say, you know, those that stand stiffly for the name of the Lord. We're not ashamed. And this is why Esau, you know, he thought he could shame us. He thought he could demonize us. He thought he could rewrite what is written by the Lord But instead he see he can't do nothing Just fulfilling scriptures As the scriptures say you can do nothing against the truth Before the truth You know so Esau is realizing that And that's why we understand Revelations 12 and 12 It says he cometh down having great wrath Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time Esau is going to have to come Looking for blood man Alright because he can't get his way But that's that's all written Everything is written Alright Everything leads to his destruction, his rulership falling. Okay, him forcing the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, that leads into his ruin. All right. So Paul said in Romans 1 and 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai, for it is the power of Yahweh unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. And we understand who Paul went to when it says Greek which was the Hellenized Israelites, Israelite foreigners, man. You know, Paul never went to no other nation. The covenant was only given to the Israelites. And if you understand the scriptures, you will know that Israel was scattered. Israel was dispersed, all right, through the four corners, you know. And then, you know, you know, with Antiochus Epiphanes, he came and sacked Israel. You know, the Hellen Hellen Hellenization period started. You know, really with Alexander the Greek. Okay. But then you should know when you understand that, you should know that Israel, you know, was Hellenized, man. So if you don't understand what Hellenized mean, go look it up. All right. It says, For I am not ashamed for the gospel of Yahweh Shai. And that gospel is the good news. We're not ashamed to tell you that the good news is that America is going to be destroyed, which is known in the Bible as Babylon the Great, which Babylon the Great means great confusion. We're not ashamed to tell you that. We're not ashamed of you that the, the 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 real image, depiction of the Lord was a so-called black man. All right. We're not afraid to tell you that the tribe of Judah is the so-called Negroes, and that's the that's the tribe our Lord sprung out of. We're not ashamed to tell you that. We're not ashamed of wearing our garments of our customs, our ancient attires in which we wore in ancient times. We're not ashamed, man. We're not ashamed to preach this gospel. You have Israelites. All right. You have Israelite camps that will teach that they're Israelites, will teach that they're Hebrew Israelites. Right. And they will practice the customs, which is the holy days. But here it is. They are offended. 
when you talk about certain subjects and the subject that's coming to mind right now is is the topic of the of what they call the rape doctrine all right the taking by force taking a woman by force that was a hebrew custom that was done by law done with a law okay it was a righteous thing to do but by laws there were rules and restrict things you can do and things you couldn't do all right which would lead to what either it was righteousness or it would become wickedness all right and that's all because they are ashamed of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It's not the scriptures say this is written of him. All right. He is the word. So what means that if you offended by the word, then you're ashamed of the Lord. All right. Because it's not that you go out and you you teach Israel to do that. It's all about, you know, understanding the scriptures and knowing your inheritance, knowing your culture, knowing your history, man. That's all it is. Because the thing that we have to do now, all right, is um is a uh, man ourselves in a godly manner, you know, repentance, you know, seeking truth, you know, putting away the evil, and and doing good in the Lord, you know. All right, so um, let me see here. This is Romans six and twenty one. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are not ashamed? For the end of those things is death. All right. It says Second Timothy one and eight. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord. All right. Nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. All right. We read that. Second uh, Timothy one and twelve. For which cause I also suffered these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. So when we suffer in Yahweh Shai, we're not ashamed, man. It is better off to suffer. In this present time for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, than to be destroyed in this present time by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because when that nuclear fire is being blown, okay, hey, the scriptures say how your eyes is gonna melt in the socket, your tongue is gonna melt in your mouth. All right, this is a consuming fire that's coming, you know, let alone, you know, shit, the shit that you're gonna see, man, that's gonna, that's gonna bug you the hell out, you know. At one point in time in history, Israel ate. Israel, hey, we went through a famine, man. Okay? Jake started eating belts, eating their own children. So how much more today when the Lord said this is going to basically top old ancient Egypt, man? That this is going to be the most horrendous, greatest destruction that has ever been. And the last. All right? So we're coming into some dark times, which the scriptures call Jacob's trouble. You know, I would rather be rescued out of that, you know, than not to be destroyed in that, man. All right. Um, it says, for thou which cause I, sh I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and am and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Right. OK, that's it for that. So let me continue in Second Timothy's one. And I'm going to jump to nine who have saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Hamashiach Yahweh before the world began. All right. So the Lord have basically chose, basically it was the Lord's purpose. Okay. To call upon these men to go out there and to prophesy. And he chosen them from the very beginning of the world. All right. It says verse 10, but is now made manifest by the appearing of our Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who have abolished death and have brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. So how dare you be ashamed of this gospel, man? When the Lord abolished death, man, the most hot, well, Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, made it, made it, uh, 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 he made it right for us to be able to get back to the Heavenly Father. He abolished death. He's the one that brought the kingdom, which he is physically, man. But he brought us the the uh, the way to salvation. He abolished death. That means we're not going to die when the Lord gets back. The scriptures say some here shall not taste of death. So that also means not everybody's going to die. OK, because Jake like to comfort themselves while they ashamed of the Lord and say, well, we all going to die one day. No, we not, man. All right. Um, I'm going to finish it up. 
whereunto I am appointed a preacher and an apostle and a teacher of the Gentiles, which are the Israelite foreigners, okay? For which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Hold fast the form of the sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. It says that the good thing which was committed unto thee keep by the Holy Spirit which dwell in us. So we're not afraid, excuse me, we're not ashamed of the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, Spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit. You know, we're not ashamed of this gospel. And if you find yourself being ashamed of being a Hebrew Israelite, then guess what? You're ashamed of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. And the Lord said he's going to be ashamed of you. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.